Hey there, and welcome to the common room. My name is Ren, and I am the host of this adventure in this uh, wonderful wizarding world that we have going on. Um, today is going to be more of like an introduction video and uh, my acceptance into the wizarding world, if you will. Um, because today we are going to go over a package, a mystery package that I've received, which um, houses the Hogwarts acceptance letter that I've been eagerly looking forward to. And uh, we're going to explore um, the Wizarding World online, the which used to be Pottermore. And uh, we're going to kind of go through that and walk through it. If you guys have never done that before, if you're new to... Uh, like immersing yourself into Harry Potter, then we're gonna go on this journey together because we're gonna find out what house I belong in, um, what uh, wand is supposed to supposed to be mine, you know, like which wand chose me, and uh, what my Patronus is. So if you've been wondering how to figure all those out for yourself, then stay tuned because uh, we'll walk you through it, and you guys get to see exactly what it is for me because I haven't done any of it yet. But uh, before we get into that, I do have this wonderful mystery package you can see on the screen. And um, I ordered this off of Mercari. And it was very, very cool. I don't know what is in it. All they said was that um, there was going to be a Hogwarts acceptance letter and some other Harry Potter themed items. And uh, it's pretty cool. It com comes in this mesh bag, which is actually kind of nice. I'm sure you can just pick this up in a craft store or something, but it looks like we have a pin. Very nice. Uh, the Deathly Hallows. So very cool. Probably need to get a little bit more light on that, but uh, we'll work with what we got. Also, ignore my Pokemon background I have back there. Um, I do have a second channel, and it is all about Pokemon cards, TCG. But... Um, we're in the process of renovating our new house and getting a new studio, so I hadn't, I don't have space or time to <laughs> get my Harry Potter background going yet. So uh, the very first video is here in my Pokemon studio. <laughs> but it looks like our first item on the agenda is Lemon Drops, and it looks like it's a recipe. Um, with Harry, it's often a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, but when other student, when another student is attacked, and Harry is yet again found at the scene of the crime. Professor McGonagall decides enough is enough. This is something for Professor Dumbledore to handle. The password to his quarters is Lemon Drop. No surprise there, as he confessed to Professor McGonagall that he was fond of this muggle suite. And that is in Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets, Chapter 11, which I'm sure you all know. So it actually is a nice little recipe on how to uh, make lemon drops. So if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and pause the video and take it down. But if you guys follow me on my Twitter account for this YouTube channel, um, I'll take a picture of it and put it on there for you as well. So there we go. First item down. Oh, here we go. This is... Um, if I can get it out. It looks like that's our acceptance letter, maybe? And it looks like we have something else here. So I'm going to go through these first, and then we're going to go into the acceptance letter. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. It looks like we've got... Um, I think these are stickers? But maybe they're, they might, because it's backwards... They might actually be um, like temporary tattoos, which I kind of feel like they might be. So maybe one day we'll put these on and uh, play the part. But there are some Harry Potter tattoos, I believe. Oh, wow. Okay. Ravenclaw. Whoops. I'm covering up the camera down there. Ravenclaw. So she, uh, she did ask the lady who made these, did ask what house I belong to. And I told her I have not yet done... Um, the Pottermore, well, it was Pottermore when I knew it, um, website, but uh, that I kind of hoped I was in Ravenclaw. So she made me a theme of Ravenclaw type stuff is what I'm going to guess. We got the blue fire going on there. These are all stickers, I believe, too. So these are cool. Very nice. 
Let's see what else we have. We have Harry and Hedwig. Look at that. That is pretty cool. A little cartoon uh, animated type sticker. Let's see what the next one is. Um, I can't tell what that is, actually. It's really dark. I don't know. I don't know what the sticker is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. And, of course, we have to get a sticker of Hedwig. So there we go. So we looks like we have a postcard here. Draco Dormian's uh, Nunquam Titalandis. It's Hogwarts. It's a Hogwarts postcard. Looks like they just put it on a uh, picture, like a um, photo stock, though. So very cool. Definitely probably uh, put that in a frame or something and make that part of my new backdrop. And we have the Hogwarts itself actual uh, building. And it looks like it's on the same type of paper. So there we go. Very, very cool. Very cool. Last but certainly not least, look at this. It's a uh, an actual letter and it has real wax on there. HP for Harry Potter. And it's got some twine on it. Um, I was going to show you guys the front, but it actually has my name and address on it. So I am not going to show that. Um, but we are going to try and take the twine off. Let me see if I can pull it off. Very cool. This is actually very well done. Um, if anybody is interested, I will try to link the uh, Mercari page I got it off of in the description. I really don't want to break the seal. And I don't want to rip this, but it looks like I'm going to. Wow. Yeah, very nicely done. I'm actually very impressed with that. Very cool, very cool. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I hope this is uh, living up to the hype here. I'm going to block this out because it has my name on here again. But it says, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh, Headmaster, Elvis Dumbledore, Order of Merlin, First Class, um... And it, you know, it just keeps going on and on. We are pleased to inform you that you have a place at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of necessary books and equipment. Term begins on 1 September. We await your uh, owl by no later than 31 July. Yours sincerely, Minerva McGonagall, Professor M. McGonagall, Deputy Headmaster. And it even has like the little Hogwarts symbol up here. So that is pretty cool. I'm not even going to lie. That is pretty cool. So let's see what we have over here. We've got the um, the list, the item list, uniform and all that. So first year students will require three sets of plain work robes, black, one plain pointed hat, black for day wear, one pair of protective gloves, dragon hide or similar, one winter cloak, black, silver fastenings. This is all stuff you can find in the Philosopher's Stone. So that's very cool. That, honestly, it's very well done. Um, it might be a little hard to read just with my lack of light I have found going on here, but uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. It's actually not bad. <laughs> so like I said, I will link uh, her shop in the description. Um, and if for some reason I can't do that, then you guys can feel free to reach out to me and uh, I will let you know where I I can point you in the right direction, but uh, we haven't yet done the um, sorting hat or anything of that sort, so let's jump right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see on the screen here, uh, my name is Septimus Wren, and if you, uh, if you don't already have an account, you can create an account here. If you have a Pottermore account like I did, then you can just transferred over it's like an upgrade but if you create a free account or if you create an account there's two options you can have there's a uh, fan club one or something is what's called and there's the uh, gold premium option or something so basically you get to choose which one and it outlines the perks of each uh, but obviously with the gold you get better deals and stuff but uh, it costs money too so if you're looking for something free then just join the regular free fan club one and you can still do all of this. But uh, as we see on the screen here, 
you, you got your uh, wizarding passport is what it's called. So you can discover your house, which is the sorting hat. Um, put your favorites in here. I, I honestly don't know what your favorites are. Books, maybe movies. I don't know. Uh, your wand. So you actually get to go to Ollivander's and you pick out your wand. And your Patronus. So very cool things. Um, when you do your Patronus, I have watched some videos of people doing them. Um, there is like sounds and stuff with it and they recommend you, you know, put headphones on or listen to audio. I don't have uh, speakers connected to my computer, so I have to put my headphones on in order to hear. But we're going to do Discover Your House. So Discover Your Hogwarts House. Adorn the sorting hat to be placed into your rightful Hogwarts house. The sorting hat's decision is final. Um, or you can download the Wizarding World app for the AR experience. I do not have anything AR, so I don't, I'm not going to mess with any of that. Uh, we're just going to do it straight here on the computer. Start with sorting. So here you go. Moon or stars. Um, and it's basically just asking you to choose which one you want. We're going to go with stars. I like that. Um, which of the following would you study? Mer people, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, or ghosts. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, probably centaurs for me because they like to study the stars, the uh, astronomy. Um, highly intelligent people, so we're gonna go with that. Which of the following do you find the most? Whoops, difficult to deal with. Um, loneliness, you got boredom, hunger, being ignored, uh, cold. Ooh, I mean, these all suck. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to be honest. Um, what one do you find the most di difficult to deal with? Probably being ignored for me. I like being heard. I like being understood, you know. <laughs> Um, late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you draw your wand and stand your ground? Withdraw into the shadows to await developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. That probably sounds the most like me, actually. <laughs> draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Um, that could be it. Proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed one and an eye out for a disturbance. Ooh. But see, that's almost like going and looking for trouble, so I don't know. Proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed one and an eye out for any disturbance. I don't know. I think I got to go with this one because it's like formulating a game plan, right? I feel like that's the most accurate. Uh, given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you glory, love, power, or wisdom? Definitely wisdom. Because if you have wisdom, you could probably attain the others, right? So um, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you take? choose to take with you? Cats, toads, or owls? I love owls, so I'm going to choose owl every time. Uh, if you were attending, which pet would you do? That? Okay, so barn owl, tawny owl, snowy owl, which I love, uh, screech owl, or brown owl. Ooh, I don't know what a screech owl is, but I do like the snowy owl, so I'm going to select that. Uh, what kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The piano, the drum, the violin, the trumpet. Probably the violin for me. Could be different for you guys. White or black? Ooh. That's a tough choice. Why do I feel like... I don't feel like it, most people would have a problem with this, but I'm going to choose black just because. Ooh. Okay, here we go. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. Ravenclaw. There we go. So I was right. I was kind of hoping that it would be sorted into Ravenclaw. Just for full transparency. Um, but it's kind of how I already am. You know, like that's... All these answers I chose 
were answers that realistically apply to me. You know, if I was in those situations, I would pick those responses. You know, if I had a choice to choose this or that, you know, that those are the ones I would choose. So that is very cool. Um, I'm happy about that. I hope you guys, if you are new to this and you are um, trying to get sorted yourself, you get a house you're happy with. And if not, maybe learn, you know, look into it, learn more about the house, dig deep, you know, research some of it. You might find that you apply to it more than you don't. But Ravenclaw here, it says, you, you know, wit, learning, wisdom. Um, probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. Uh, but did you know that Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost? Which is probably good. Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds. And I actually, um, I've read some articles that have said that. That the Ravenclaw uh, view of the castle is like the most stunning and it had the most beautiful, you know, surrounding atmosphere and all that. So... I think all that's kind of attributed to me wanting to be in Ravenclaw because I've read a lot about all four houses and just I, I've read a, and looked into a lot of stuff and it just the Ravenclaw mantra just really stuck out to me. So I'm actually very happy that they sorted me into Ravenclaw. So there you go. You can uh, share your house pride, Ravenclaw. And then it goes down to show you some notable ones. A message from your prefect. Um, and all this other good stuff. So go back to Passport. And now we have our sorting hat. So when you, you look up here, it says Ravenclaw. So if you got sorted into your own house, it should say whatever that one is for you. And give you the little emblem up here. Um, I'm going to skip the favorites thing. I don't really know what it's about. Um, I love it all anyway, so like, do I really have a favorite? Yeah. But uh, here we go. Discover your wand. That is something we want to do. Uh, welcome to Ollivanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. And if you move your mouse around, the, the background kind of moves a little bit. To ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following seven questions honestly. So come in and let's see. So first of all, would you describe yourself as uh, average height, tall, or short? Well, I'm about six foot, so I'm going to click tall. I think six foot's pretty tall. Um, your eyes, we have blue. Ooh, blue-gray. Mine are actually kind of like a, a very dull blue into blue gray so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that was the day on which you were born an even number or an odd number I was born on an even number uh, do you pride or do you most pride yourself on your determination originality imagination optimism resilience uh, kindness or intelligence personally um, I pride myself on my intelligence if I had to pick another one it would probably be resiliency though and everybody's going to be different, so don't feel like you have to, uh, you know, conform to something or anything like that, right? Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, right towards the castle, or ahead toward the forest? Ooh, that is an interesting question. My gut is telling me to go right towards the castle if I'm traveling alone down a deserted road, chances are you're going to find some better things here. Also a calculated risk, though, because there could be a lot of wrong things there. And I would hope that uh, my instincts and my knowledge and experience, if I was a true wizard, you know, would uh, kick in. Do you most fear fire, small spaces, darkness, isolation, heights? Well, it's certainly not heights. Um, it's certainly not isolation or darkness. It's going to be small spaces. I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like a real claustrophobic type person, but I, I am, I am in a chest of magical artifacts, uh, which would you choose? Ooh, silver dagger, uh, silver dagger, golden key, ornate mirror, dusty bottle. Glittering Jewel, 
Bound scroll. Black Grove. Ooh. That's a good question. My initial thought is the Bound scroll because there's going to be some type of knowledge or wisdom, hopefully, imparted on that. Or maybe instructions to... if. Well, it depends on the situation. Minute. I'm probably going to go with the Bound scroll. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Ooh, here we go. We've got Sycamore Wood with a Phoenix Feather Core, 14 and a half inches in unyielding flexibility. So very cool, very, very cool. Not bad whatsoever. Very cool. So, you know, there we go. We got our wand now. I'm gonna have to look into seeing if I can get a real one of these uh, made. <laughs> Back to Passport. So now we have our house. We don't care about favorites. We have our wand and our Patronus. Just so gonna go ahead and click that. Discover your Patronus. And it even says down here, better with headphones. And uh, there's some music. The Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. And that is from uh, Professor Lupin. Discover your Patronus. You can only discover your Patronus once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. All right, so there is actually like some sounds to this. I don't know how to describe it. Um, there's like little wind chimes or something going around right now. I can't figure out how to get the sound I'm hearing in my headphones onto the video. Um... And maybe it's already there, which would be great, but I can't hear it. So we're going to roll with it. We'll just know that when you do this, there is going to be some sound with it. And it's actually like a pretty cool sound. So we're going to go ahead and begin. And uh, it just says your Patronus uh, are, you can only do this once. The questions are timed. Go with your instincts. So imagine it's going to be like a quick paced, um, scenario and you have to quick an answer quick you know like fast so we're just gonna go with our gut and see what we come up with let's begin relax think of your happiest memory for me personally probably the birth of my son hopefully you guys have a nice happy memory you can delve into oh serve protect and seek um protect Wow, that was, <laughs> I felt it like going away. I felt the pressure. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening. Smooth or rough? Let's go with smooth. And these are like, these are truly fast paced. I feel like they pop up and then they start to go away and you have to click really quick. Lead, escape, save, lead. I've done military I've served in the military, and uh, probably one of my favorite aspects has been leading. Here we go. What is that? What was that? That's what I said. I saw the hint of a tail, or was it a wing? I'm not really sure. Ooh, it's getting, like, really eerie. Safe or free? We like freedom. One more question. You're nearly there. Ooh, <laughs> the music is getting intense. This is making me, like, hype. <laughs> Love, trust, or hope? Trust. I value trust. The others are nice as well, but probably trust overall. Wow, this is like getting so suspenseful. Click, drag, and release for your Patronus. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Your Patronus is a Newfoundland. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we got a dog. It's a little puppy. Return to my profile. Okay, let's see if it says anything about it. Um, no. All right, so I've moved on to uh, MuggleNet.com. And basically, this is a little place that will tell you about your Patronus. Ignore the ads down here. I don't know why they're popping up. Um, 
So I found the new found one here, and it it shows all the patronuses, patronuses, patroni. I don't know what the plural is, but um, you can look them up on here. So if you find one you don't know what it means, come to this. Uh, Newfoundland dogs are dogs that were originally bred to help fishermen in the Canadian province that shares their name. They are notorious for being huge, kind, and calm companions with a knack for swimming thanks to their webbed paws and heavy fur. If you found yourself with a Newfoundland as your Patronus, you are guaranteed to have a loyal and strong friend to drive away the darkness. Well, that's cool, at least, you know? It means we... Uh, We've got some good loyalty and strong friendship type vibes going on. So I can live with that. I can live with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was quite an adventure. And this video has gone far long enough. So we're going to end it right there. But thank you so much for uh, taking the time to start this journey out with me. And uh, we really dived into... Um, getting into the wizarding world, getting our acceptance letter into Hogwarts, um, and then exploring the new wizarding world website and finding out what, what, uh, house we belong to, which I'm happy with Ravenclaw, um, uh, finding out our wand and finding our Patronus, which has all been things I've been very much looking forward to doing. And I did not want to do until we were here and I could record this video. So thank you once again for doing that with me. But, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for. Feel free to comment below and share what you guys got as in terms of house, wand, and uh, Patronus. And uh, I look forward to growing this channel and community with you guys. But uh, that's all we have. And we will see you in the next video.